So this is something I wrote. Uh, my name is Daryl Gebbian. I'm an emergency doctor. I'm not currently working because of a addiction to fentanyl, and uh, I'm just recovering, uh, long-term recovery, three years. <clears throat> uh, I'm trying to get myself back on course, to start contributing back to society and make a difference. But this is something I wrote uh, about a year ago, and it has to do with uh, what my thoughts are on addiction. Addiction is a cold, dark, and damp, yet eerily familiar place where I am immersed, lost, and alone. In a labyrinthine swamp, devoid of life and surroundings, with my bare body supported precariously by waist-high, thick, foul mud. I'm a shadow of myself. Numb to the normal ebb and flow of good and bad, I'm incapable of feeling joy nor shame. I am thin and possess little life force, however there's enough to foster a growing thought of desperation within me. I don't want to die here. Detoxification and early recovery begin when I muster the courage to stop wandering and start walking a straight line. I know it's going to be bad, really bad. I know I must keep going if I'm to survive. Every footstep sinks into the quicksand-like mud, yet its tiny bit of resistance offers a small victory propelling the next step. Into the featureless night I fearfully, fearfully trudge my way with blistered hands and feet. It's petrifying. With profound dysphoria, weakness, and a Jupiter eye cataclysmic thunderstorm raging in my head, I do my best to avoid walking in circles. Time slows to a torturing pace, yet 32 grueling hours eventually pass. It's at this exact moment the fog clears and the mud becomes shallow. For the first time in five years I see a star in the night sky. Although a solitary star so faint, seen only from the corner of my eye, it's enough to raise a glimmer of hope and keep my journey from straying off course.